Hi everyone, my name is Ryan Harris with Purdue Extension in Spencer County, and this video will be all about the life cycle of plants and animals. We are going to start with the life cycle of a plant and use an orange as an example. As we can see in this picture, plants go through many changes throughout their life cycle. Typically, plants go through five main phases in their life cycle. Seed, germination, sprout, flowering, and then end with full maturity. Most plants, especially those that we eat, start off as seeds. You can think of seeds as the babies of the plant. Once these seeds find soil, sunlight, and water, they start a process called germination. Germination is the process by which the outer coating of the seed breaks down and the plant starts to sprout out of the seed. This is the first step to plants becoming much bigger. When a plant grows to full maturity, it starts to make flowers and pollen. Pollinators, like butterflies, hummingbirds, and bees, pollinate these flowers by moving pollen from one plant to another. This allows the plants to start bearing fruit. Plants produce all kinds of delicious fruits and vegetables that we eat every day. Seeds can be found inside most fruit ready to find the right conditions to start making more plants. This starts the life cycle of a plant all over again. Now we are going to talk about the life cycle of an animal using a frog as an example. Frogs are amphibians, like toads and salamanders. This means they start their early life in the water then, as they grow older, they spend more time on land. As we saw in the previous picture, frogs begin their life cycle as eggs in the water. Once these eggs have been in the water for one to three weeks, they will hatch into tadpoles. You can think of tadpoles as baby frogs. Tadpoles have gills for breathing underwater but eventually they will develop lungs for breathing air on land. Tadpoles also eat plant materials that they find underwater to grow to be adult frogs. After about two years, a young frog will grow its four legs and fully develop its lungs, which means it has become a full-grown adult frog. Adult frogs also lose their tails and start eating insects rather than plants. When frogs reach full maturity, the female frogs produce eggs which they lay in the water. This is the last stage of the adult's life cycle, but the beginning of the new egg's life cycle. Both frogs and oranges follow the basic life cycle patterns that most plants and animals achieve in their lives. But, it's important to remember that not all life cycles are the exact same. They are different for different plants and different animals. If you'd like to know more about the life cycles of plants or animals, see the helpful links below. Have a great day everyone!